Okay, so hello everyone. Today, let me show you this uh, wire, wire flux cord for aluminum. Uh, basically, I already took the uh, spool out of the box. Uh, making a video out of this was kind of an af afterthought. So, uh, if you're curious if this really can weld, I'll just show you and you'll be the judge. Okay, so we've got a piece of aluminum here. And let's try to do some welding. Okay, so the spool of aluminum flux cord wire is already inside the machine. Okay, just to confirm, ER5356, ER5356. Okay, so let's do some welding and you be the judge. Okay, the machine is already switched on and it's on 80 amps. Let's perform a few spot welds. that that is 80 amps we'll try 120 okay 160 Now, if you look at that, this is the result of the weld that we have. Now, if you ask me, it's not really able to weld. Well, at least with this uh, powerhouse uh, machine. Let's try a different aluminum. Okay, so this is uh, an aluminum uh, brake lever. Let's try this up down to 80 amps. Now, anyway, that's it. That's the result. Mm, How about let's try to weld that too? Okay. We can ah, it sucks. So ah, did not even weld. So anyway, I do believe that's it. So if you're planning to buy this, ah, well, you be the judge. For some concern, it does not work well with this machine. Maybe uh, I do believe this is AC. Maybe if it's DC, uh, positive to negative or negative to positive, then maybe you can use that wire. But as, if you ask me, as far as I'm concerned, with this machine, it does not work. Okay, I'll try to show you once more, and you be the judge. So anyway, that's the world that I got. So if you like this video, please subscribe and like. Thank you for watching.